butterfly, 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 butterfly. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Just Ask 14. And today we if you've seen the thumbnail then you see the video that we're going to do i'm just going to do a simple ponytail with a little bang swoop and um some quote unquote colored highlights that i'm using braids to do so we're just gonna get right into the video first things first i got um this gold braids um i just had some extra braids laying around that i decided to use um so what i'm doing first is i am taking some very small pieces i took about four pieces off um, and then I'm going to curl it and then I'm going to put it in my hair and of course I'm going to show you exactly how I put it in so make sure you watch the video from beginning right to the end so you're gonna miss nothing check so yeah but anyways grab your braids separate them into a couple small pieces like I said I use like four I took apart four small small pieces and just set them to the side and then now I'm using the smallest the orange um what a name now perm rod and wrapping it onto the I'm using the, the orange perm rod the small perm rod and I'm wrapping the braids onto the perm rod and if you have those small white papers, I don't remember the name for them, but you know the paper, when you're using, when you're, when you're doing a perm rod set on somebody, you put the little white paper on it, and then you wrap the hair on. If you have those, use it, because the braid here is going to stick onto the perm rod, so I had some problems, I had difficulty taking it off. So yeah, if you have the little white papers, definitely use it to wrap on it, because it's going to be a little difficult taking it off. And yeah i'm watching some type of movie i think it was trolls i was watching or something like that um this new movie i seen but the movie was so interesting but that's why you see that's that's my i'm interested face i know i probably look pissed but i promise you i'm not pissed that's just my face so yeah but in the meantime in between time wrap your hair onto the perm rods and then after that I am going to boil them. You don't have to boil them. You can just rest them in some, in some hot water. Um, but I just decided to boil them just to pass time. And so the curl can go in and stay in. So, yeah. And now it's time for the infamous ponytail itself. Listen, let me tell you, if you have short locks, and when I say short locks, I mean anything from like, let's say the middle layer back up to your neck, please be grateful because you have no idea the blessing that you have, literally. You know, um, my locks right now, a little past my bottom and let me tell you the struggle just for put them up in a one or translation the struggle just to put it up in a ponytail is ridiculous but anyways that's another story for another time so let's get back into the video um yeah so now it's time for the ponytail and to part out the bang so i took a little from my right side is my side so i like my hair on my right side um so i'm taking it from the left side um, and I took those two that you see on the right side that's like away from everybody else I probably should have left out but I didn't want that big gap to be there when I did the little swoop do so I just you know added in for a little razzle dazzle but I'm doing the it's going to be a low ponytail so I am making it low obviously um, and yeah you part out the part for your bang and I want it like swoop, like swoop, swoop. So I took some, I took mostly from the back, not really from the back, but like, how do I explain it? If you, you can see, you can see what I'm talking about. So I took it from 
you know like a couple rows back to get the full effect of the swoop so yeah if you want like the swoop swoop effect take some like from a couple rows back and now I took them out to the arm um, pot and I'm putting them under the dryer just so they can dry um, and then just wait on that but I have my hair parted out and now it's pretty much you have to install them first before you do anything else so that's why I'm waiting for them I also did record this part of me putting that piece in my hair but I ended up deleting it by accident so I didn't get to add it in however the way I put it in at first um, that's not how I initially wanted it it should have been long way instead of like split in half but I changed my mind from this way later on down in the video so some will be long and some will be short either way I loved how it came out um, so yeah just put them in how you want to you will also see later down in the video like i said i ended up put them in long way instead of um in half and i also used a hairpin later on in the video um to tuck them in instead of doing them like this um however i mean this is a good method as well um this is not how i initially pictured it but still i do like how it came out um even with some long and some short so like you see this one I'm going to put this one in long way and I'm going to tie it on the top of the rubber band that I used for my ponytail which is why I said you have to leave the because you're going to wrap you know usually when you put when you do a ponytail you have to wrap here around the base so you can hide the rubber band or the scrunchie or whatever you use um, so that's why I said you have to wait until the end or until you're done put these in to do that um, base and also don't worry about it the braids tangling up or anything um because they don't so yeah So like I said before, don't worry about it looking tangled up or anything like that. Um, like I said, we're going to fix up everything closer to the end. So just put in everything first and then we're going to, you know, nice it up at the end part. So now that I'm done adding in all the hair, um, well on the rubber band that is, I'm going to take two, take two strand locks from the back and wrap it around the base so you can hide the scrunchie and also hide the braids if you wrap it around the scrunchie like I did. Um, and at the end, I'm so beautiful, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, take two locks, wrap it around the base and use hairpin to tack it that at the end.
and after you tacked it with the hairpin just please make sure that you if it's too tight around your edges or anywhere you pull them out because you do not want to lose the edges um a moment of vulnerability i don't know if you all realized but around my edge line i had some postpartum hair loss so that's really why i haven't been posting but my fiance is like you know just make videos and encourage people somebody may be going through the same thing and yeah 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 wishing he may be right but i wasn't feeling it but like i said if it's too tight please make sure to pull it in the front so it's not tight because you will lose edges if you leave it tight okay so now for the bang you um you're going to you are going to swipe the front and push it underneath the back of the ponytail sorry i was talking about edges at the same time but it was important so i had to mention it but anyways you swoop the bang to the side that you're going to swoop it to and then you put it underneath like you see here underneath the ponytail and around the ponytail and then you tuck it in so it should be pretty easy um like again don't worry about the hair tangling up we're going to fix all of that later but for now we are worried about getting the arm um, swoop swoop so again slide it across how low however low you want it some people like it down to the eyebrow some people like it covering the eye you know like a patch i don't know why but hey some people like it just a little bit over the eyebrow however low you want it um you swoop it to your preference and then you swoop it underneath the ponytail and around and then you tacked it with with hair pins i have one hanging down because that's a shorter lock but i'm going to pin it just now the reason i said not to worry about the hair is because at the end i use foam um just to control the frizz so yeah if you have foam it's good to use foam to control it um so it doesn't stick to your hair it will not tangle up even if you don't use foam but i do suggest using the foam just for a cleaner look. So I had a little duh moment just now <laughs> because I um, was tying it on the rubber band when I could have simply just used a hairpin and pushed it into the ponytail but hey like I said it is what it is I like how it came out um, tying it onto the rubber band obviously is a more secure way than just using a hairpin um, although my hair won't be tugged on or anything like that so i mean the hair pin was still good to use of course um and plus i didn't expect to add any more i just wanted to add one last one so i decided to use a hair pin um and now i'm just doing finishing touches adding hair pins where 
you know, there's where hair pin is needed. Hair pins are needed. Um, and a little tip or a little hack. As you can see, I am well overdue for a, uh, um, what is the name? Detox. So you don't have to mention it. I know, I know I'm long overdue for a detox. That's where you see all that lint in my hair. So a little hack, something I came up with, at least while I just thought of. Um, if you have a bunch of lint or anything in your hair and you don't like how it looks, maybe it looks, it doesn't look presentable to you, you can always use some black eyeshadow. You can always use mascara just to cover it up, just so you know. So you're welcome. So this, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love it, and I had, I got so many compliments on this style. It's crazy, but I just directed them to my YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment subscribe share with the, this video and everybody and i will see you guys in the next video bye